Hello and welcome to this new video by Off to Office. In this video, I'm gonna train you create a dynamic filter which will have the functionality of filtering data as you type. So let me visually show you what I mean by this kind of filter. Here I have my data before us and above this I have an active combo box. So I showed you in one of my previous video to create a regular filter with drop down list and there I needed to press enter every time I key in the search keywords. But the filter I have here has the additional functionality of filtering as I keep typing. See how. Like if I press U, all the data this side containing U will be filtered to this side. Now further press N, this will further filter the process I. So this way, this kind of filter, I'm going to show you how you can create. Let's start from scratch to see how we can do it. So this is the data before us and the data contains the name of countries, cities and the ethnicity. Now say I want my filter data here to the right. This filter data can however be to a different seat of this same workbook as well. So first of all, we will create a list of all these countries in some separate seat which is going to be used in our drop down list. So I will copy it, copy and paste. Now to check if it has any duplicate values, I will go to the data tab and click remove duplicates. So you can see column A is checked. My data has headers is unchecked as we have no headers. So I will click OK here. 75 duplicate values found and removed. One more thing I'm going to do is define a name to this country list. So I will go to formula tab and then define name and assign some name to it, say country. and TRY. By country, this seat of data will be referred to. Press OK. Now we will go to the developer tab. In case your Excel seat has this tab not activated, right click this ribbon and select customize the ribbon. Here you will find the developer checked or unchecked. If it is unchecked, check it to activate the developer tab. Now under the developer tab, you have an option insert. When you click it, you get two kinds of controls here, form controls and active X controls. You have to select combo box active X control. I'm going to create a combo box here. Now we will right click this combo box. We will go to properties. And when I do this, a large dialog box opens like this. So I have to make many changes here. The first change that I would be making is I will link it, link this combo box to some cell. Say I'm trying to link this combo box with cell number L1. So I'm going to link it with L1. So I will manually press L1 here. The cell is linked. Below that there is list fill range. So I will pick that list from the defined name that is country C O C O U N T R Y and then go further below there's an option here match entry as you can see so by default it is set to FM match entry complete if I leave it to this one what will happen if I leave it to this whenever I type some keyword like A U it will automatically pick Australia or whatever data is present in the master data so I will select it to none, FM match entry none. So having done this, I will close it. Now my combo box portion is complete. Now, as I told you, I have linked this to L1. So you can see if get out of the design mode. So if I type anything, the same thing will be typed to L1 as the cell is linked to it. So for cosmetic and aesthetic purpose, I'm 
dragging this to ABL1. And now the actual filtering process is to be taken up. Now you will mostly find people filtering and extracting this data to this side with the help of helper column. But I'm going to show you this with an array formula. So I will first of all type search or I'm going to search anything in this combo box which is linked to L1. So I'm going to search L1 and I will lock it and I will be searching that L1 within text obviously. So instead of assigning a single cell here, I will assign an array of cells like this and lock it. Starting position will be one and close the bracket. So here I won't press and enter and I will check what has actually happened. I will do select this formula and press F9. When I press F9, you can see here all the rows where this ZA is present will return a number like you can see one, three, etc. So this is returning me the position of the numbers. It's not going to suffice my purpose. So I will convert it to some true false. That is I'm checking if it is a number then return me a true or else false. And now I will further check by selecting and pressing F9. This returns me false, 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 true, false, like this. I will again press Ctrl Z. Now, now that I have converted it to true and false, I intend to return actually, not this one or zero, that is true, false, but the corresponding numbers, corresponding rows. So to do that, I will house this formula in an if function and under if function this is going to be my logical test that is this is true or false if it is a true or like if the first position or the first value is true then I need to return one if the position of true is at the third place of this array of true false then I need to return three so in a way i am actually required to generate a sequence of numbers from one to whatever is the number of the countries so for that in my last class also i told you how you can do that with row function so i will show you with row function i will select this press f4 and lock it sorry close it and check what is it returning? It is returning me 6 to something, 103 and so on. But I need to generate 1 to 186 or 188. Press Ctrl Z. Now I will subtract row number, like row number of the first value, Oman. What value I am getting? This time I am getting 0, 1, 2 so on so i need to just add one to it and i'm going to get a sequence of number from one to n see one to one eight eight i'm generating this because if it picks true at the third position it will pick three out of this array and if it and the condition is found to be false do nothing or leave it just as it is so now check what is it returning me So if it is a false, okay, no issues. But if it is a true, it is returning me up number 16, 17, which is actually the position of this data that is matching here. So I'm almost done here. Now I need to tap those numbers like 16, 17 and all to the first position, second position, third position. So for that, we will be using a small function small and this is going to be my array what is the array false false 16 17 and so on and out of that ar array i'm trying to find the position of the first second third kth value smallest like 
first smallest second smallest third smallest so in place of one two three i will use rows function here this is my i am sitting at j6 so i will type it and lock this reference So on first occasion, this rows will give me 1. When I drag it down, this value will remain the same, but J6 will turn to J7. So it will return me 2 then. I'm closing this small function. Now here you won't press enter. You will press control, shift, enter. Why? Because we are dealing with arrays. So it returned me 16. If I drag it to the right this is 16 if I drag it down so for Z A all the matches are being returned in fact all the positions are being returned now we don't need to do anything else we just need to extract these numbers with index match index and from this array like Oman and I will lock it my row position will be this 16 17 let it be and my column position will be on first occasion while I'm fetching country this will be 1 then 2 then 3 so instead of typing 1 2 3 I will again use function like rows but this time columns as I am required to drag to the right right so j6 again J6, I will lock it and J6 on at this place this is giving me a value 1 as you can see if I drag it below this J6 will convert to J7 so value will still be 1 that is okay but if I drag it to the right just this j6 will convert to k6 returning me thereby 2 and further 3 so this is what i want and i will close it close the index function again i will i'm going to press control shift enter control shift enter see jambia has been turned and i will drag it to the right the corresponding city and ethnicity ethnicity is also being returned i will drag it below now the only thing that i have to take care of is this number error which i can do very easily using if error function if error if there is no error then return this value and if it is an error return me an empty string and i will press ctrl shift enter to the right to, and to the bottom right and now it's going to be a magic for you so I'm um, typing right now U, it filters something, all the data which containing U, then N, like C, then I, like this. So that's all in this video. See you in the next video. Keep watching. Thank you.